I threw out the question of what rhythms I should analyze for this little series, and someone on Facebook said the theme song from the first season of the original Transformers cartoon, and I thought that might be a joke until I listened to it. So I guess I'm going to analyze some Transformers for day number four of 10 rhythms in 10 days. Now, I never watched Transformers growing up. The original series was a little bit before my time. In fact, this first season was from 1984, four years before I was born, and now you know how old I am. I listened to a couple of different versions of this theme song across different seasons to see what some of the differences were, and all of them were considerably easier to understand than this original version. There's actually a number of odd time signatures in some of the later versions of the theme song, but there's some extra confusing stuff happening here. It's really hard to decipher exactly what's going on in the opening of the show because there's all these explosions and laser sound effects which are super loud. So I'm actually going to take a look at the version that plays at the end of every episode. The first thing to mention is that this is not on a grid, at least not on a steady metronomic grid that you'd most likely find these days. So there's some fluctuation to the tempo here. Now I did put it into a grid in my DAW to see exactly what was happening and it's pretty unusual. So here it is in my DAW and you can see I have the tempo kind of fluctuating a little bit so that the piece stays on the grid because as I mentioned before it's not completely metronomically even. So there's four measures of 4-4. Four, four. And then there's this measure of 5, 8, and you can hear that in these keyboard stabs. One, two, three, four, five. So if you look closely here, you can see this last stab in the 5, 8 is super early, and that leads me to believe that this was actually physically performed by someone on a synthesizer and that they were rushing a little bit. And then going into the next measure, there's what sounds kind of like a weird cut to me, almost like a bad edit right there. Um, and I think that's probably just due to the technical limitations of the time. So really this isn't that bizarre, it's just a measure of 5.8, but the combination of the, the rushed performance and this weird cut make this feel much more awkward than it actually is. From here it's back to 4.4 four and the main melody kicks in. There's two bars of 4.4 four with the melody and then this. <laughs> I'm going to analyze this measure in two ways, how it actually is on the grid and how I think it was intended to be counted. I have this as a measure of 1316 here so that the downbeat lines up with the beginning of the next measure, but I believe it's meant to be a bar of 3-4, which would be 12 16th notes long. The same melody happens later, and there I have it as 3-4, and that makes a lot more sense to me. It's actually kind of somewhere between 3-4 and 13-16 here, and once again, I think this is a performance issue. It was being played slightly slower for this bar, most likely. Now, if I fluctuate the tempo in my DAW, it's going to line up. Let's take a listen to that. And most likely, that's the correct analysis of this part. It's very unlikely that the composer intended for this to be in 1316. The rest of the theme song plays out normally, and there are these fun bars of 6-4 with a bunch of dotty quarter notes on the battle to destroy the evil forces of... But it's nothing too fancy. <laughs> This is a great example of something seeming more complex than it was probably intended to be because of technical constraints and performance issues. It's always fun to look at music that's not so stuck to a grid. You often end up with some interesting results. I'll be back to covering some prog for rhythm number 5 out of 10 tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification to catch that one. Till then, stay proggy.